Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to deal with the condition that is del equals to 1. And the system is called critically damped system. So, in the previous lecture, we have derived this expression of C of S, that is omega n square over S into S square plus 2 del omega n S plus omega n square. And we also studied that when the value of del is equals to 1, then the system is called critically damped system. So let's plot the time response of critically damped system when del is equals to 1. On putting the value of del in the equation 1, we get C of S will be equals to omega n square over S S square plus 2 omega n S plus omega n square so this is the expression that we get by putting del equals to 1 in this expression we also know that a plus b to the power 2 is equals to a square plus 2 a b plus b square so applying this formula in this equation we can write c of s is equals to omega n square over s s plus omega n to the power 2 on doing the partial fraction we get omega n square over s s plus omega n whole square is equals to a over s plus taking the term of this bracket without a square that is b over s plus omega n plus c over s plus omega n to the power 2 this is the expression that we get by breaking this term into partial fraction. On evaluating and putting the values, we get the value of a, b and c as a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus omega n. So these are the values that we get after solving this above expression. On putting the value of A, B, C, we get C of S is equals to 1 over s minus 1 over s plus omega n minus omega n over s plus omega n to the power 2. <laughs> On taking the inverse Laplace transform we get c of s will be converted into c of t equals to inverse laplace transform of 1 over s is equals to 1 minus sign as it is inverse laplace transform of s plus omega n will be equals to e to the power minus omega n of t 
minus sign as it is del omega n sorry omega n as it is and inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus omega n whole square will be equals to e to the power minus omega n t and the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s square is equals to t only so this is our final equation of c of t this equation can also be modified as c of t equals to 1 minus e to the power minus omega and t common term 1 minus omega and of t by taking e to the power minus omega and t common we can also write c of t like this <laughs> let's plot the time response for critically damped system at del equals to 1 when subjected to unit step signal so this is the curve this is c of t this is the t and here is the one and this is the boundary line of one <laughs> this is zero and the curve or the time response for critically damped system will be plotted like this here the distance between this point and x axis will be equal to 0 0.98 thank you